it's safer than doing anything else. And if you've had issues in the past opening up bank accounts, guess what? Navy Federal doesn't use check systems. I always recommend getting your check systems report, cleaning that up because every other bank pretty much does use it. But Navy Federal uses early warning. So if you have any issues with early warning, request a copy of your report on their website. I'll leave a link below and clear that up. A lot of times it's something very small. It's under a couple hundred bucks. Take care of that. Whatever bank is reporting, go to the branch and clear it up with a banker. Okay. It's that simple. It's just about adulting, right? We got to, we got to work through these things. So they're no longer affecting us instead of saying, Oh, well, I'm just going to get chime. No, no. Okay. So, um, again, keep the auto pay on the most important thing. If you don't take any, if you don't ever listen to anything else that I say, understand this on time payments are so important on time payments, just paying your bills on time that report to the credit bureaus. Okay. This has to be paid on time. If you do a pledge loan or if you do a, a self account or a credit strong account or any other credit builder account to help build your credit, you have to make sure the payments are made on time because they will report a late payment and late payments can drop your credit score up to a hundred points. I just had a client. Oh my God. God bless him. But we've worked together for over a year and I finally got his credit over 700. We were able to qualify him to buy a new truck. He actually bought two new trucks. And then guess what happened within six months of him getting his truck? Yeah. Yeah. A late payment. Guess what it did? It dropped his 700 credit score into the 500s. Yeah that fast one late payment and it is what it is i mean credit reports are data they're like our adult you know report card so you have to make sure that you're playing the game of credit correctly and late payments are the fastest way to drop your credit score so please for the love of god make sure you are paying every bill that reports to your credit on time. That's why I tell people don't even worry about adding Experian boost because we don't want nothing extra. All we want are the real like good trade lines, like higher ticket trade lines on our credit report that show we pay on time from real banks. Like that credit boost stuff is not really worth it because it's a low ticket item and you're just adding a bunch of trash to your credit in my opinion you know um but you know sometimes it does help the score but overall it's not adding to all three credit bureaus it's just to Experian, and we're looking for bank trade lines that are a higher ticket amount we're not looking for netflix that's 9.99 a month so we want to make sure that everything that's paid to our credit report is paid on time. So if your rent is not reported to credit, you might be able to be a little flexible with that. You might get a late fee, but if it doesn't report to your credit, so be it. You have to make sure your bills that report to your credit are priority and paid first because a late payment can haunt you for up to seven years. It will drop your credit score as fast, as fast as anything I've ever seen. So please, please, please get everything on auto pay, put it in your calendar on your phone, put it in there as a reminder. Hey, this is when my due date is okay. Make sure auto pay processed. If you got a new account, if something's going on, it is your responsibility to make sure all of these bills are processed and paid on time. You got 30 days to make sure that it is paid before they report a late payment. So even if you are a few days past your due date on the personal side, if you're like, oh my God, my credit card was due yesterday. Oh my God, I forgot the auto pay didn't process because that was my old account and I got a new account. You're good. They're not going to report a late payment a day after. Okay. You got 30 days, really 28, but 
you know, we'll call it 30. That's why it says 30 days past due. Of course, there's late fees and things of that nature you'll have to pay. You might ask to waive the late fee after it's paid and they can provide you with a credit. Or if you call them and say, hey, this was just a mess up, would you mind waiving the late fee? I can take care of the balance today, um, but this is a one-time thing. If you could just please waive this late fee for me. But please, for the love of God, just make sure that all of your credit bills are paid on time. It is super important. And it really is the number one thing when it comes to having a good credit score is paying your bills on time. Okay. That is it. Uh, let's get back to the fun stuff here. So this is what it looks like once the pledge loan has been paid down 92.5%. You'll see here that there was a transfer made of $185,000. Okay. So now the balance is only 15,000. And that's what I was saying is pay that balance down. So the bank still gets a little bit of interest but now you only show that you owe a $15,000 balance instead of 200,000, but you still got that $200,000 trade line. Okay, so that was well, well worth it. And you can see here the terms. So um, it gives you your 14 day payoff period. Of course, that's with interest. The interest rate is 2.25% on this particular uh, pledged loan, but they do vary. So yours might be three point something, 3.25. You just never know because it does vary. And then you can see here what the daily interest accrual amount would be. It's $12 and 33 cents. But of course this is a much higher ticket than most people are doing. Um, I've seen people go up to a hundred thousand. So when you have a higher ticket amount, of course the fees are going to be a lot more, but your average person isn't going to do, you know, super high over a hundred thousand. And again, if you do have a family member that does have a large amount, they can actually co-sign for you. And we'll get into that in just a bit. Now, once you have paid off your pledge loan, you want to allow at least 30 days for, a, for it to update on to your credit report. So you do not want to apply for anything to your debt to income, and it can result in a denial because it's a new account and you owe too much money. So that's why I always tell people, make sure when you are doing the pledge loan process, you do not apply for anything, okay? Don't apply for anything. This is used to help you build credit and to help strengthen your credit profile, help strengthen your relationship with the bank. And again, you use this same concept with Navy Federal, just as you would with other financial institutions that offer this same type of pledged loan. It is just a secured loan that does not require a hard credit pull, but helps you build credit and helps you build that relationship with the bank. So that way, when you're done with the pledge loan, you can go back to that bank and get a bag. Okay. So next slide here, I'm going to be showing you they, their goal with this pledge loan was to acquire a home equity line of credit. Now, once everything updated, they applied for the home equity line of credit and they were approved for $250,000, okay? That's a prime example of adding a primary trade line like a pledge loan and getting comparable credit in return. So that's why people always ask me like, what's the purpose of that? This is the purpose. So you can get approved for higher amounts that you wouldn't normally have gotten approved for. Now this approval was, I guarantee this was due to the shares pledge loan. Okay. This is the hack. This helps you get approved for higher amounts, not only for like a home equity line of credit, before auto loans and any other sort of installment loan out there. Because when you show comparable credit on your credit profile, especially with the bank that you did it with, they're gonna be like, heck yeah, we'll give it to you because that's how they make money. 
they have the money to lend, but they have to make sure that they're lending to people that have proved to been able to manage this type of credit in the past. Comparable credit. You have to have comparable credit. And this just raises the bar for you because now you showed a $200,000 loan that you paid off quick, okay? Then you get your stepping up, stepping stones. Now you're at 250. Next you're at 300, then you're at 350. So you just keep on climbing up that ladder. And I'll tell you what, I even spoke with a licensed specialist over the phone and it was a licensed MNLS, licensed equity specialist three via email and phone and they confirmed and stated quote huge plus to this strategy okay huge plus to this strategy so the banks know this is the strategy okay but banks are always going to test you okay they want to see hey can you be trusted with this money if you show risk they're not going to give you this money but if you don't look like a risk and you have comparable credit that you can show them like, hey, I just did a $200,000 loan and I paid it off and it, everything went well. Now you have comparable credit and you make the bank feel comfortable, okay? And that's what it's all about is building comparable credit and building a relationship directly with the bank so that way they see you as a credible candidate to lend to and that's what you want to do is look good on paper okay they don't care about nothing else but the data that is on your credit reports okay and that's why it is so important for you to understand the data that is listed on your credit report and clean that up and build positive comparable credit if your goal is to get higher amounts of credit higher ticket amounts Doing a pledge loan is a hack for you to raise the bar, okay? And it just keeps growing from there. I told you guys my story about how I did a $25,000 pledge loan and my credit card after that was 25,000. Same concept here, $200,000 pledge loan, got approved for $250,000, $250,000 now if they would have not done the pledge loan prior to this i don't think they would have gotten as much they may have gotten like 150,000, but that pledge loan just helped them raise the bar like it raised the bar for them 